Welcome to Our Night Sky on Astrocast.tv. This is Carolyn Collins-Peterson with a tour of April's night skies, featuring some easy stargazing targets for both northern and southern hemisphere sky watchers. No matter where you live, be sure and dress for the weather. And bring along binoculars or a small telescope to enhance your viewing. Plan to start your sky watching right after sunset, just as it gets dark, say a little after 8 p.m. The planets Venus and Jupiter dominate the western skies early in the evening. Mars is high in the southwest. Later on, look for Saturn just above the eastern horizon. The Moon dances past Mars on April 2nd and 3rd. Then, on April 6th, the full Moon and Saturn rise close together in the east, with the bright star Spica right between them. On April 22nd, Jupiter and the crescent Moon lie close together very low in the western sky after sunset. The Moon then appears not too far from Venus on the 24th and Mars on April 30th. As the sky darkens, you'll start to see stars and constellations popping into view. For Northern Hemisphere observers, the Big Dipper is taking a prominent place in the northern sky in April. It's an easy shape to spot. Three stars make the handle, and four stars make up the cup. These two stars, called Merak and Dubi, are called the pointer stars. They appear to point to this star, called Polaris. Polaris is our North Star. But let's go back to the Big Dipper. The handle of the Dipper makes a fine arc shape. Follow that arc to this bright star called Arcturus. You simply arc to Arcturus. Then draw a straight line, almost like you're driving a spike, to this star called Spica. You spike to Spica. Make a slight curve from Spica over here to a lopsided little constellation called Corvus. You curve to Corvus. Finally, leap back to the constellation Leo with the bright star Regulus at its heart. You leap to Leo. Next to Leo is the small constellation Coma Berenices. With the naked eye under dark skies, you should be able to spot the Coma star cluster right here. While Northern Hemisphere viewers have the North Star to help them navigate, Southern Hemisphere observers don't have a similar star at the South Celestial Pole. But you can use the long axis of the Southern Cross to point toward the South Celestial Pole, which lies right here. Although they're low in the sky this time of year, it's still worth checking out the large and small Magellanic Clouds with your binoculars or telescope. These are companion galaxies to the Milky Way. Also in the Southern Hemisphere sky, look for two famous stars called Alpha and Beta Centauri. The Milky Way cuts across the Southern Hemisphere sky this month with many beautiful star clusters and nebulae to explore with your binoculars or telescope. Look for the Southern Pleiades here. Also, search out Omega Centauri. It's a globular cluster that contains several million stars packed into an area about 86 light years across. That's just a small taste of the many great sky sights you can find during April. Step outside each night and take in the wonderful view. This is Carolyn Collins Peterson for Our Night Sky, wishing you all clear skies from astrocast.tv. Music for this episode of Our Night Sky comes from the album Stella Novus from geodesium.com.